Hello! Alright, I am going to show you a recipe I like to use for meatloaf. I call it meatloaf surprise. You can always add stuff to it, and you know, but this is my version of meatloaf. And also, it's not anything like Halloween meatloaf. I was just experimenting with my costume and said, why, why not? So, I'm going to dress up. <laughs> I am going to be making, yes, I took off my mask, I'm sorry, I, it was a little itchy. Um, anyways, what we're going to be doing is something I like to call meatloaf surprise. You would start off with however you usually prepare your meatloaf. You know, I like to use like oatmeal instead of breadcrumbs, it works the same way and it's easier for me because I usually have meat, oatmeal lying around. Anyways, you start. Bam, 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 bam. Just doing whatever. I like to put a coat of garlic powder and stuff on it. And I thought I had everything out. Oh, where are these eggs? Oh, I'm not an egg. I did not look at eggs. A little bit of milk. I'm out of eggs. I'm going to need to find something to substitute. Alright, get on in there and just squish it up. Doesn't that sound appetizing? laid out. Apparently I don't. <laughs> now it's all good and mixed. Minus the few ingredients that apparently I was out of. Uh, one second. Alright, now what you do is you can use um, tin foil, you can use black paper. Actually, black paper tends to rip. What I usually do because I always have them on hand are these little plastic baggies. And I take it and I dump it. And I dump it all over. And then, uh, let me see if you're in frame. Hold on. Anyways, now I just like lay it out. Make it into like a, a rectangle type shape. And then, oh. then what I like to do is I like to put some cheese down. You can put um, shredded cheese or sliced cheese. It's just that I am out of shredded cheese most of the time and I always have sliced cheese on hand. So just put this down into a layer across the whole thing. And it doesn't matter if there's a little bit on the edges. So that's okay. That'll get filled in later, be later because I'm going to put more cheese on top of it. Next is mashed potatoes. I always have lots of, everybody likes meat and potatoes. Everybody likes meat and potatoes. So what I do is you can use instant or you can use homemade mashed potatoes. It does not matter. And because it both comes out the same way. Instant or homemade, just take them. From down in there, I'm going to need something else other than this to spread it around. Ah! I made them a little thick because it helped um, hold the meatloaf together a little bit. Not a lot because of what I'm about to do. It does help a little. Now, it doesn't have to be 100% completely covered, because basically every bite is going to have a little bit of mashed potato. Mashed potato. Alright, now here is the, well, not really tricky part, but this is the part that makes it so good. Alright, now we're going to take it, and we're just going to start rolling it like you would a jelly roll. And I'm also going to transfer this over onto my pan. Just keep rolling it. Okay. 
that down a little bit. All right, well, now at this point, you would cook it like you normally would. You'd put the oven on whatever you like to put it on. I, I prefer 350. It's just easier. Yeah. Um, pop it in there for as ever, however long it takes to cook. Usually, it's between 35 and 45 minutes for us. So, between 35 and 45 minutes at 350 degrees. At that point, I will show you what else to do. There's not much left, but kind of like garnishing it. I mean, a few extra things. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so now that it's had time to cook, what is next is just adding a little bit of stuff to the top. So, ah, I can't let that still probably needs another 10-15 minutes, but at this point, it's been cooking, it's been in there for about 35 minutes, like I said. This the next step is to add, this is what I do, extra cheesy all the way, and some more cheese to the top. And now we got another single layer of cheese because there's two layers, like two rows of three or four, and the inside, now we got this layer, and then we're just going to top it off with a little Alright. And that is all you need to prepare it. Alright, now we're going to put it back in the oven for at least 15 minutes. But within 15 minutes, it should be completely done. So the first round was about 35 minutes. Now the second round is going to be anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want it to burn, but, you know, it's just according to what you have it that on, like I said, mine's 350, so it'll, it'll probably take another 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, it is now done. I have taken it out of the oven, and I will show you the final result. This is the final result. Creamy, gooey, mashed potato-y, and meaty. And somebody is literally hovering over it right now. <laughs> Usually it has, I add some spinach to it, and just like, um, on the inside before I put the mashed potatoes in, I will sprinkle some, like, uh, some spinach on the inside, but we were out of spinach, but that's like one of the little extras, there's, you know, different things that you can do with it. This is, uh, just the simplest way. And, uh, well, hope you give it a shot, and hope you like it. <laughs> Alright, see y'all later. Yeah, my kitchen. I'm gonna try to.